Hi to Chaco. Imperius could win 2 to 0. You read rumors about WCG. Oh, what is these rumors? Uh, does WCG even still exist? Is this going to be back in 2018? Oh my god, can we trust the rumors though? Can we trust these rumors? Of course they're going to come back with Warcraft 3. No, they probably won't. But that's fine. There's Mr. Archmates. I think last time they only had mobile games. That makes a lot of sense. Some sort of water and metal. And uh, Blade's gonna creep here. You all have Archmage here for Imperius. He's creeping over there. No, you need some dope. Then it's interesting seeing hours of Spellbreaker fights. We don't see any Spellbreaker fights. Hello. No Spellbreaker fights. We're watching Imperius. We're gonna see Griffins. And we're gonna see Hawks. And we're gonna see Flying Machines. This is gonna be a very interesting mirror. It's not like we're watching uh, Spellbreakers against Spellbreakers. It's like a different matchup. We have a sheep here, we have a footman walking around. Archmage here is gonna kill this Cobalt Geo Monster. Kills it, he's level 2. Now he's gonna kill this uh, Gnoll. He kills it. Now he's gonna kill this Gnoll. He kills this one as well! Three kills there in the last few seconds. Nicely done, Mr. Archmage. He got the circle, by the way, pretty good item. Here we have a uh, gloss of haste. I mean, not that good item. <laughs> okay, if you say so, it sounds amazing. Yeah, it's, it's a bit different. It's uh, a bit better, I guess, than the spell breakers. Oh, he got the footman kill. What a nice kill here for Blade. For, uh, 40 marks B. So, Mr. Uh, Forceful Shadow Priest. There's a dispel. There's another dispel. Bye bye, water elemental. This water elemental goes down as well. We only have one left here for Imperius. This footman is Michael back, but the Archmage, he has a horse. But the footman does not have a horse. He's gonna hide here in the back. Can he get the footman? He wakes up the creeps. No, the footman dies to the creeps. At least no XP given. But I feel like Imperius just lost two footmen, right? He's so far behind in XP. Look at this difference 310 against 374. So much XP uh, advantage here for Blade. 64 more XP and he kills the sheep out of anger, out of frustration. Imperius just kills the innocent sheep. As you can see, Imperius also four supply behind this two footmen. And meanwhile, we have two arcane towers here for Blade. Imperius just oh, can he get a footman? A return kill footman. He has mana for water elemental, but footman come in. Archmage subs a water elemental. Meanwhile, his base he has three arcane towers. Even one more. He kills the footman, and now the peasant in trouble. Meanwhile, Mr. Blade is creeping this. He has, he has some trolls. There's another uh, peasant. Archmage is losing so much mana. He's out of mana. Water metal is dead. And this Archmage is now level 3 with Boots of Quata. Last, of course. Would be great if he were an agility hero. But he's not an agility hero. So it's not that great. Meanwhile, we have an Archmage here for Mr. Imperius. He's going to kill these gnolls. Kills one, kills two. And now this one, this last one, I'm pretty sure he's going to die. There it goes down. Uh -oh. This Archmage is creeping. Just creeping the entire map. And uh, the footman attacking the farm. The farm takes so much damage. Footman is might go back. Imperius has a faster attack, by the way. More towers. He's getting a guard tower even. Is he going uh, to upgrade to castle anytime soon? He has Panda second. Panda, of course, great, great against the flying machines. So the Griffins, they uh, are harder to counter. There's a breath of fire. Water elemental attacking with footman. Footman might cut back. There's water metal to counter the water elemental. His water metal does half the damage this water metal does. Now the Breath of Fire, can he get the Water Elemental? He's hunting down the Water Elemental, the Archmage here retreating. We have a Forceful Shadow Priest sniping the Archmage. And the Water Elemental went down. Masha is creeping by himself, uses the Breath of Fire. What? <laughs> On the creeps. <laughs> and the Water Elemental takes a lot of damage. He's, go he's going for the Peasant. There's a, there's a castle. Panda buys his staff. And we do have Arcane Sectum going up here for Blade. And there's another one.
Parkway is almost level 4. That's amazing. Well, there's uh, one null went down. Second null here is going down as well. There it is, close up attack. Perfect here for the uh, panda, apparently. If he's level 2 uh, and his shoe, he will pick critical strike. Panda here is still level 1. Arcway is still level 2 only. Level 2 Arcway is against level 4, but now he's level 3. So he's only one level behind. But that's a lot of levels to be behind. He steals the item though. Steals a replenishment potion. Not the best item, but he steals it. 75 gold. I just will sell it. Are you gonna keep that? I guess you don't build priests in this matchup if you're imperious, so you might as well sell it. Uh, Breath of Fire does so much damage. He counters with the Breath of Fire. All these peasants there. Okay, did get haste by the way. Haste and Breath of Fire. Just these footmen just being cut apart to pieces. One of them is dead. Well, level 2 panda, level 4 archmage against level 3. Archmage level 1 panda. The, the Griffin Aviators take so long to build with just one peon. It's done. This one. Almost done. Just a little bit longer. There it is, he's done. Uh, he's, and Castle is gonna be done here in a moment. So we'll see some nice griffins. This first of all is going down. Mana stone. Not bad. I think. Oh, bad as level 3 now though. Is he going for an expansion? There's a griffin. There's a griffin. 1 plus 1 is 2. And uh, all these murders are dying. Oh, Blade is going for this one. And let's see what item he gets. Nice one would be nice. Like what's a nice item? What item do you really want against Griffins? Do you want a Book of the Dead? Do you want Healing Wars? Is that the item you want? Maybe? Maybe that's what you want. Tome of Strength. Maybe pick it up with the Panda. Yes! Panda now. 850 hit points. So we have level 4 and 3 against 3 and 2. Imperius now has Griffins though. With Griffins he can creep a bit faster. Maybe we get a Griffin upgrade now. Or is he gonna build another Griffin? How many Griffins does it take? Does it get? Actually the Griffin upgrade I think is 275 lumber, right? Doesn't even have that much lumber. But he can't build another Griffin. Uh, actually he doesn't have the gold for a Griffin because he just bought the staff. Yeah, he just bought the staff. 250 gold is the staff. Bait at 48 supply. There's a nice uh, Breath of Fire one. Footman goes down. We have, a, we have a guy over here as well that's probably uh, not gonna live for very long. There he dies. He dies. Breath of fire. The militia goes. Oh, did he just use heal scroll? Yes. The militia goes down. This footman takes a. Never mind. He gets rid of another water elemental with the griffins. The breath of fire. Counter breath of fire. This footman is too low. Oh, he dies. Maybe he should have killed him himself. This footman is very low. Three Griffins. And what is he getting to counter the Griffins? A, a bit late on the Griffin yeah. Aviary counter. I mean, maybe he doesn't know how Imperius plays. Maybe he doesn't know Imperius plays Griffins. Uh, anyway, these uh, all these heavy armor units go down so fast. Uh, one Griffin got staffed out. Probably when it took too much damage. There's another uh, unit dying. This Griffin doesn't have a second staff. Oh, if he loses a Griffin, that's gonna be so bad for Imperius. Just lose that griffin. Expansion is totally up for blade. And uh, there's a dragon hawk. There's dragon hawks. Does he have the upgrade? He does have the war animal war training upgrade. I'm not sure if he has the griffin upgrade yet. He does have a lot of lumber. So I assume he probably has not gotten the upgrade yet. But he will get it pretty soon. Splash damage upgrade of course. That's what I'm talking, talking about. Level 3 Panda, now level 4 Archmage. So now they're same levels. Get in some more units. 
Okay. Well, how many dragon hogs do we have for blade? He's building. He's building two. He's building two dragon hogs. Do we already have three dragon hogs here for uh, for Imperius? Never scouted this expansion though. If he scouted it, he could have killed the peasants there. All oh, these all oh, these dragon hogs in danger. There's one shackle, there's two shackles, these are two dead dragon hogs, and this dragon hog might die as well though. So two trading for the for one. Oh, but he gets maybe this, this priest of breath of fire to kill a priest. And there goes the dragon hog to breath of fire. We have another dragon hog here with these uh these water mantles do so much damage to the griffins kill them fast though. And this berserker Healing Shoal used there by Blade. Blade at 58 by Imperius at 452. Militia helping in the fight. What is he doing? He's standing. There goes another pillar. Militia level 5 Archmage now. Can he stab this guy? Is he trying to? Or is he going for the sources? The oh no! Oh no! Two units. No, don't kill them. Yes, he kills them. Or tries to at least. Does he get them? <laughs> How the fuck are these still alive? <laughs> There's another attack. This priest is down to 26 hit points. This uh, sorcerer is down to 25 hit points. And here come the dragon hawks to web everything in the air. These other two dragon hawks are a bit uh, behind. So you know what? TG, uh, uh, TP out here for Imperius. And he is safe in his own home base. That's amazing, right? That's amazing. 76 supply against 54. Peasants just doing the job. Manual of health there on the floor. Save the happy couple. Yeah. I feel like it was a mistake by Imperius. He could have easily, easily killed those. We have six dragon hogs now here for Blade. Push to eight dragon hogs. Here we have less, of course, six, only six here. He doesn't know about the expansions yet, I think. 54 supply against 76. And there's a breath of, a haste, breath of fire. There's some shackles. And uh, shackles, cancel the shackles, the shackle and everything's shackled. I'm not sure who's shackling who, but you guys can see these two are shackling those. Uh, some other shackles are shackling other units. It's beautiful. This uh, healing ward on the ground, no one cancels it. It's just healing everything and GG. Mostly for shells. Oh, the the water metal got uh, perched, and oh, it's still no, well, it goes down. Imperius still has a water metal because his did not get perched, and he kills his uh, kills one of the uh, level five guys. I mean, he kills everything. That's what I'm saying here. Imperius kills everything. He has close of attack. Well, Blade is still creeping here. Well, he crept his rogue as well already. Slippers of Agility is of course amazing. And now let's go for this uh, Rogue. This level 3 Rogue is taking so much damage. And he's going down fast. And now let's go for this... Uh, this other creep. Okay. Man of Mage Singer is level 2. Keelan Seeker also level 2. Has a Circlet and uh, Slippers. Here we have a Claws of Attack and a Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. Um, I'm not sure who got better items. But here comes the Imperius, summons a water elemental. The cobalt, the cobalt goes to Blade. And this water elemental taking so much damage. From fireballs, it's uh, still alive. Imperius has two water elementals here. Only one here for Blade really. Unless, oh can I get this? No, the footman is taking too much damage. The water elemental is still alive with 60 hit points. Great. And the Archmage retreats here. He's gonna creep this creep camp. Maybe he wants to creep that. The water elemental still has uh, a few seconds left on it. Like half its duration to be fair. Let's go for the forest tall trapper. Goes down. I was going for the other one. It's, uh, it's also dead. Now go for the forest tall berserker. And meanwhile, Blade is creeping. Oh, what item did he get? A replenishment potion. What item did we get here? Cloak of Shadows. Not the best item, but does he surround? No, almost. Almost surrounded this Archmage. 
And uh, I did get a uh, water metal. We have more XP for uh, Imperius this game. Last game he was so far behind in XP. This footman of course is going to survive. This footman of course also going to survive. This footman takes a bit of damage. But the footmen are all so hurt here for Imperius. The footmen all over the map. Super low hit points. Well, Blade's footmen are just in perfect condition. At least uh, besides this one and this one. Archmage throwing some fireballs at the other Archmage. We have water metal throwing water uh, waves, I guess. And the opponent. Oh, can he get his water metal? He will get level 3. Just 11 more XP and he is level 3. With a uh, nice block there with the footman. Oh, but the water metal gets to these creeps. Can he get the kill here? 57 hit points. And the creeps get the XP. So no XP here for Imperius. Meanwhile, Blade's creeping here already. He's gonna get level 3 pretty soon. With a gauntlet for Ogre Strength, not the best gauntlet. Archmage here almost level 3. We have keep almost done. Only one arcane tower here for Blade, by the way. But three arcane towers here for Mr. Imperius. And the Archmage here is creeping. And uh, he's level 3, but uh, who gets this Tundler? Oh, I think... I think Imperius got it. It was just a level 1, right? 20 XP. We have a uh, level 5 Cobalt Taskmaster here. Oh, Breath of Fire! He got it. And what item did we get? Oh, the Archmage? Oh, actually, we got the item for Imperius. The item there is super good, of course. Sentry Wars is such a good item there. It's water and metal fighting against the uh, the blade armies. Archmage is hunting down his footman. By the way, no boots of speed for any of the Archmages. Can he get, get this footman? He has 99 hit points. It goes down to 67. And, oh, did he get XP? Yes. Breath of Fire killed the footman. Meanwhile, over here with blade creeping over here. I sponsor these seasonal cups four times a year, winter, spring, summer, fall. Okay, so apparently uh, Over Admire is, is talking about this cup. First place is 50 euro, and Over Admire sponsors them the, himself. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Thanks to uh, Admire, Over Admire. Right, the, this is what he was saying, right? This peasant is being micro'd. Uh, is he going to castle? Yes, of course. Well, Blade, build this tier 2 again. Arcane Sanctums. Is Water Mental about to expire? There it goes. 50 euros. That's a year's salary in Russia. Well, Imperius better win then if he... Uh... I'm not sure how much it's worth in, in Blade's country, in Moldova. Moldova. There's a water elemental. He's going for. Oh, here comes the Archmage snipe! Try to snipe this militia guy. The militia guy takes so much damage. Does he get it? No, now he's going for the footman. Or what's he going for? I'm not sure. Yeah, the footman. Does he get the footman? He gets the footman. The golem goes to the panda. Skull of the beast. Here comes the panda for uh, Imperius Breath of Fire. He kills a priest and a footman. But uh, there's a haste breath of fire. That's of course so much damage there on these footmen of Imperius. We have a level 4 Archmage. There's another breath of fire. So we have a level 4 uh, Archmage, level 2 Panda. Here we have a level 3 Archmage, level 1 Panda. And Griffins. Blacksmith. He buys a uh, Scroll of Regeneration. Manual of Health there on the floor. He's gonna pick it up. The panda's gonna pick it up, he picks it up. Such a nice pickup. And uh, this expansion might be too late. Is this expansion too late? He has a lot of priests. Four priests, no sorceresses. He's gonna buy a berserker. He needs that berserker to defend against the uh, griffins. He's getting more priests, no more sorceresses. You know what, Archman scouting across the map. Oh, he comes for the creep jack. And there's no berserker yet. No Archmage here. Let the fire these footmen are pretty low on hit points. Archmage is coming back. 
water metal is uh, taking some damage. Imperius now knows about the expansion. Unlike last game, you come two griffins. Two griffins is gonna do so much damage. There's not no anti griffins really. The scroll of the beast. That's the best he got. But these water metals go down super fast. And haste, of course. These guys are missing. Uh, but this one didn't get haste. So this guy is not missing. There goes the priest. He's uh, there's no more. Oh, he does have dispel here on the priest. He dispels the water elementals, but also the haste. Can you dispel haste? I don't think he can dispel haste actually. I think the haste just expired, but he can dispel his own uh, scroll of the beast of his footman. That's what he did, I think, in the archons as well. On the panda, nothing has uh, scroll of the beast anymore besides the one footman. Panda here takes so much damage for Imperius, but he does have staff. There's a sorceress, there goes a water elemental, by the way, these uh, these guys take so much damage. And another griffin joins the fight here, these two are slow though. And the priest with the uh, skull of the beast, oh, no more skull of the beast, are actually attacking the griffin rider. Isn't that amazing? The priest actually attacking instead of healing. Something uh, some of you might have never seen before, but yeah, it's pretty rare sight to see the priest attacking. Uh, this priest is, is dead. And... Uh, well, does he have a footman? If he just had one footman, man, he should have sent it to that expansion to kill the peasants. He doesn't have a footman. This griffin is my cut back. One hit point on this. Okay, he kills the arcane. A thing, the arcane uh, sanctum. That means there's no uh, no dragon hawks can be made, but there is no griffin aviary in the first place. Archmage going to this expansion, killing these peons. This guy flying over the trees. We have two griffins here, super low on hit points. And a panda. Maybe he should have bought a second staff. I don't know if he has the gold for it. It does seem like he has it. To staff his uh, griffins more, but because apparently he needs it. Does he have another staff? Where's the staff? Oh, he has this staff, but he didn't use it. I'm not sure why. And now he TPs out. This griffin here, super low on hit points. It will survive. Panda, however. Okay, panda should be fine. He's fine. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry about the panda. It's gonna creep this now by a berserker, I think so. These guys are so low on hit points. Player's forces are under attack. Okay, well. Very interesting. Uh, what do we get here? Berserker. There goes the level 5 uh, creep thing. Rune Bracers, not very good. Only works against a breath of fire. Doesn't work against the Griffin's attack, apparently. Here come the Griffins. Oh, there's a haste, there's a breath of fire. Do we have a heal scroll? Yes. We do have a heal scroll. Level 2 Panda now. Here come even Militia. Militia helping out in the fight. Uh, militia just buying time while killing the peasants. Is that what he's doing? Militia, I'll go for the berserker. He starts on one griffin, and he uh, kills the others with the breath of fire. But there's a haste breath of fire on his griffins. He kills all the peasants, but he lost all his own peasants. Oh, there we have a dragon hog now. Two. I assume he has double griffin uh, aviary again. Oh, there's a nice shackle. There's a counter shackle. There's a counter counter shackle, and there goes one of the griff uh, dragon hogs. Another griffin shows up. He's great for 200 hit points only. He takes so much damage, he's down to 56 hit points. And he survives. And this, he didn't kill this guy with only uh, several hit points. The Archmage does not have TP or anything. He dies. And GG. That was the finals. Easy peasy.